This video is for women who are in abusive domestic situations, especially if you have children there. And uh, by children, I mean anybody under age 25 years. Why do I say that? Because the human brain is not fully developed until after age 25 years. Yes. So what does that mean? That means they are more vulnerable. And whatever, whatever the kids see modeled, they might copy that. And there's two ways that an abused child can turn out when they grow up. They either get depressed and stay mostly depressed most of the time, the rest of their life, or they become an abuser themselves. Because they want to feel that powerful, that powerful feeling, that adrenaline, that uh, that's opposite from a victim. They don't want to be a victim anymore, and they're not making this choice voluntarily. It's just something that our psychology does, that that our brain does, like like a, a defense mechanism. And uh, if the child happens to be female that's probably the kind of man they will choose when they grow up so you might think you're holding the home together but these type of people that are abusers it's very very rare for them to ever change even if they attend anger control programs I know what I'm talking about I did some volunteer work in a domestic violence shelter and I have personal experience with this subject that I don't want to go into. So, I um, the biggest uh, job of a nurse is to observe, and I've been doing that. I've been doing that, you know, since the 70s. And even as a child, I was very quiet. I was an only child, and I observed. I didn't know what to do with those observations. I thought about them for years, but I remember them now. And I see, you know, one plus one equals two. I, uh, I know a family in another state, and the father was rarely home, maybe every weekend, not definitely. So, um, so one of his daughters, uh, I, I still I still keep in touch with them so I know you know how their lives are turning out one of his daughters uh, married a guy that uh, is always home he doesn't work but he's always home that's what she wanted she wanted her father to be home when she was a little girl he wasn't so now she went and picked a man who's always home so is this good no he doesn't work they're poor Anyway, his, his, all of his kids uh, are, were affected one way or another because he wasn't home. And the parent that was home was um, very difficult. So I don't want to say too much about that situation anymore, but I, I know it's difficult um, leaving your home and... Um, taking the risk you might think that your abuser is going to get more angry and treat you worse but uh, y you have to do it you know what's going to happen if um, if one day uh, you, the abuser gets carried away and hits a little bit too hard or, or hits in the wrong place or or the child falls or you fall and, and there's some kind of permanent damage I mean even death you know, in these modern times, there's plenty of women's shelters. You know, they're not home. They're not ideal. But it's something. You, you stay there for a few weeks, a month, whatever, and uh, you get some help from the courts. You get a lawyer who's going to accept payment at the end of the court case. And um, you got to do what you got to do. 
So think about it. Um, ask me uh, any questions that I might not be thinking of right now. And these things are unfortunate. And also there's a tendency of women once uh, if they've been been abused as a child and then they pick uh, an abusive guy and then the next guy is the same um, so don't rush into anything and just be grateful you know that you have your children and it's very difficult to find someone with an ideal life just just deal with it and get help you like to help people well you have to accept help too